Hi, this is Mrs. Freifeld, and today I'm going to teach you about adding and subtracting numbers with decimals. When you're adding or subtracting numbers with decimals, you must line the decimal points up like buttons on a snowman, just like on Olaf here. It gets a little confusing when numbers have decimals to tell exactly how many numbers you have. Just remember that the numbers are separated by these operations. So here's a number, and here's a number, and here's a number. I need three buttons on my snowman, a belt, and then one button to keep his pants up. Now I can start lining up these numbers. The five goes in front of the decimal point, the two goes in the tenths place behind it, here the three has no decimal point that I can see, but I have to remember that it is there, it's just invisible behind it, so I make it appear. There it is, and I'm gonna put the three in the ones place. Here I see a decimal point, so it's easy to line up. The zero's in the ones place, the three is in the tenths place, and the five is in the hundredths place. But I find this very confusing with all this empty space, so I prefer to fill those spaces with zeros. So here's one zero. It helps me add them and line things up. And now everything is perfect for adding. The hundredths place, the answer is five. In the tenths place, again, the answer is five. And in the ones place in front of the decimal point, the answer is eight. Let's try it again. So I'm going to count how many numbers I actually have. Here's a number. There's the operation. Here's a number. Here's a number. And here's a number. I'm going to need four buttons on my snowman, an equation line, and one button to keep his pants up. Now it's easy to put the numbers correctly in this problem. I don't see a decimal point here, but I remember there's one behind it. So the two is in the ones place. Here, the one is in the ones place. The five is in the tenths. I need to make my decimal point appear. There it is. Now I know that the five goes in the ones place. Here I see a decimal point, so it's easier. There's a zero in the tenths and a four in the hundredths. I have a lot of empty spaces, so I'm gonna fill them with zeros. I'm gonna put two here. I'm going to put one here. I'm going to put two behind this five. And now it's very easy to add this. You add up the hundredths place, and the answer is four. You add up the tenths place, and it's five. And then you add up the ones place in front of the decimal point, and I see that it's eight. Now let's try subtracting. I'm going to count how many numbers I have so that I know how many buttons to put on my snowman. I have one here, and then I have a number here. So I'm going to put two buttons on my snowman, and I have the belt and the button that keeps his pants up. And I'm going to line these numbers up. I don't see a decimal point, but I know it's behind it. So the seven goes in the ones place. Here I see the decimal point. It's easy. The zero goes in the ones place. The two goes in the tenths place, and the five goes in the hundredths place. Again, I'm going to fill in the empty spaces with zero, and now I'm going to subtract. Can I take five away from zero? No, I can't. I have to borrow. Can he borrow from his neighbor? No, he can't. Can he borrow from his neighbor? Yes, he can. I'm going to cross out the seven, make him a six. And the one that I borrow, I'm going to put in front of the zero and make him a 10. Now he can borrow. I'm going to cross out that 10, make him a 9. The one that I borrow, I'm going to put in front of the zero and make him a 10. 10, take away 5, is 5. 9, take away 2, is 7. And 6, take away 0, is 6. One last problem. It's a word problem. Elizabeth was weighing some rocks that she found on a camping trip. One weighed five ounces. The second weighed three and fourteen hundredths ounces. The third rock weighed two ounces. How much did the rocks weigh altogether? 
Well, I'm going to underline my numbers so I know how many buttons on my snowman that I'm going to need. And I see there's three. The next, I'm going to put the numbers in the correct place around those decimal points. And that's where they would go. And I fill in the empty spaces with zero. And then all I have to do is add. And there it is. You did a good job. Till next time.